does an affair make a marriage... I don't know why you're laughing. <laughs> I don't I'm, know just you're dreading, I'm just dreading the thought of it. <laughs> let me say, let me say, does an affair make a marriage stronger? Let me just say, if this ever happened in our relationship, and say it happened to me, say I was the one that was led astray, I can tell you I wouldn't even make any attempt to say, <laughs> sorry, darling, or anything. I'd say, there's the house keys, Thank you. there's the car keys, Thank you. there's whatever. I'm off to yeah. work as a beach bum yeah. in Ibiza or something. Goodbye. Yeah, yeah. Uh, here is Janet. She's a whole different kettle of fish, <laughs> Janet. Different. She is different. Her husband, Malcolm, uh, can relate to Sharon and Ozzy because uh, Malcolm had a six-year affair. Their marriage survived and they say... Do you know what they say? It's even better, Jan. Am I right in saying it's even better than it yeah, was before? absolutely right. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. But it's six years, Janet. Yeah, but I didn't know it was six years, did I? Yeah, Not... But when you found out it was six years. Well, that was a bit of a bummer, yes. <laughs> As Ruth but... always says when she hears these stories, she goes, oh, terrible, terrible. And then you hear something like, and it was six years, and Ruth goes, and that's worse. <laughs> Added, the worst, the even worse than six years would be, and it was with her best friend. Yes, well, both of those. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us how, well, how, what was your marriage like at the time, and then how did you find out? I'm coming to you, Malcolm. <laughs> coming to She's you. She's coming Go for on. you. Okay. No, no, I'm, not, I'm very interested, actually, and I think it's great that you have stayed together, but um, w were you aware that something had gone wrong? You'd gone from a happy marriage to being a bit no. distant? No, we hadn't. We'd, we'd, we'd met in a whirlwind. I was married before, and that broke up and everything. And we met in a whirlwind, and I suppose somehow deep inside me, maybe I wasn't convinced that he loved me as quickly as he said he loved me. Mm -hmm. And also, I was really insecure. I mean, I'd had a horrible childhood, um, very insecure, North London Jewish, and people put me down all the time. And the other woman made me feel like that. And it was, it was really difficult, so when when I found out, I wasn't really... I don't suppose I was really that surprised. And when you say the other woman, this was a woman within your circus. You Absolutely. had a group of friends, Malcolm, yes. didn't you? So she was in, within that circle. Mm. Um, how did she behave towards you and how did she behave towards Malcolm? Were you aware that she had an eye for your husband? Yes, definitely. She was... Well, the only word I can describe is predatory. And maybe that sounds as if I'm putting all the blame on her, which I'm not. But she definitely was predatory. She made it absolutely crystal that that's what she wanted. And I used to say, you know, you know what she's doing. Oh, it's fine, because he flirts with everybody. So there you are, Malcolm. You're, you're, think, you're thinking you're just having a bit of a flirt with you know, a woman in, within your group of friends. When yeah. did it turn for you and become more serious? Well, after a couple of years. I mean, she really made it plain that she was available, very available. And after a couple of years of this, and with the things that were happening in our marriage... You were having some got, financial problems. We were having yeah. lots of financial problems, I just yes. one day thought, what the hell, and I met her from work. Um, so See, now, if that was our relationship, even me talking like that would have Ruth jumping out that window. <laughs> that would be... I mean, you would find, you would find that hard. I don't want to open up old wounds between you no, two, but does this, is this no. not what this you does? Won't. You know? no. You're great no. people. Hi, hi. hi. Why I'll tell there... you what the most difficult part of the whole thing is, and people are going to think I'm absolutely bonkers, but it's the images. And, you know, they used to go away together. I thought they were somewhere else, but they used to go away together. And it sounds so stupid, but the one thing that really cranked me was the fact that she would be in the same room with, with him when he was shaving. Now, don't absolutely ask me why. I have absolutely no well, I idea. That because it's a very intimate thing. It just felt like yeah. an intimate thing. And that's the thing. I mean, we've talked to lots of couples that have sort of been in the same situation. The hardest thing to get out of your head is images. And if um, you can get past that, Malcolm, okay. when it was happening, you said this woman was very predatory and eventually you just mm. gave in because things were not great at home and you admit that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, during that time, were you feeling any guilt or were you just enjoying that, I, that time no, I away? I felt guilt, particularly um, at the end of our weekends. Um, I used to get more and more um, irritable um, and I just wanted to get home. Let's face it, you weren't a perfect lover, were you? You've been you so very good. No, no, I said, don't, don't be falling out again just because <laughs> of us. But how No, 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 here's the point, Ruth. We've got to, no, darling, no, 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 no. We haven't got time, we've got to hit oh. the weather, right? I'm just saying to this, the $64,000 question is this, right? Mm. So, Janet finds out, she knows all about it, Malcolm, and you go back and you're together. Now, if Janet's anything like Ruth, I would be reminded of that 
not only every day, but every second of every day. And this happened to you. So tell us, tell yes. us. Yes, we, we were constantly on, on at it for about three or four months. And eventually I said to Janet, look, I am not going to pay for this for the rest of my life. You either want me to stay or you want me to go. And you've got to make the decision.